capital markets are highly, highly geared to confidence. And we happen to be at a moment in time where there's greater uncertainty and the trajectory of economic growth, the trajectory of interest rates are all more uncertain than they've been in quite some time. So it's not surprising in that environment the capital markets activity has really decreased. You know, history would tell you that when you go through a transition, you go through a change, market participants, capital allocators need time to adjust to that new reality. Um, as James highlighted, we've gone through a decade of very, very easy money, um, very, very accelerated asset price appreciation, and so you were generally rewarded for deploying capital and deploying capital aggressively. You're now not being rewarded for that, and therefore investors want a much more significant discount, a much more significant risk premium if they're going to deploy capital. One of the riskier things you can do is participate in an IPO, deploy capital to a new company that's unproven, that doesn't have a track record. And so obviously those risk premiums are up very, very significantly. Generally speaking, when we've had these periods in the past, it takes somewhere between two and four quarters, sometimes maybe six quarters, you know, to rebalance. I think we're going through that rebalancing period. I think there's still a significant amount of uncertainty, but as we get into 2023 and we start to have a clear understanding of the trajectory of capital markets, I think you'll see issuers and capital allocators meet again in the middle, although at different valuations and a different cost of capital than they've operated with over the course of the last decade. So I think we're, we're in the process of that journey, um, and my expectations is that that equilibrium will come more into balance in the coming quarters.